Today I'm just playing normal Minecraft and... What? Wait a minute. Why is that mob so... Big? Well, I guess now we have to complete Minecraft when mobs are giant. Is this even possible? Stick around to find out. Here we are in a normal survival world, or... Uh, normal so it seems at least everything seems pretty okay right now It seems just like you know, we're just in a forest. I think got some nice hills and some nice biomes around us uh, whoa, 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 whoa What is this over here? Oh, what and what is this? Oh my goodness? This is I mean it looks like a cow, but it's way too big to be a cow. Oh my gosh, look at how big it is. This is a huge cow. It is literally like I think double, three times the size of me. That is crazy. And oh my gosh, there's a sheep there too. I really want to see how big I am compared to the chicken. But the sheep, oh, there's a couple of them here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, as you guys know, we are going to be trying to beat Minecraft today uh, when mobs are giant. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the characteristics are. Like, if they have any more health, or if they do more damage, stuff like that. As you know, we just need to start off here uh, by getting some wood. That is how all great Minecraft runs start. Uh, pretty gonna be pretty standard, I think. Just gonna try to get some uh, get some wood, get some iron, find a lava lake, head to the nether. I'm a little bit worried about the nether. And then, of course, the end, because we're gonna have to fight the ender dragon. And I'm not really sure what that's gonna look like if he's gonna be like super huge or like oh my gosh look at the fish down there oh man that is huge that is like oh wow that is a gigantic fish wow that could feed me for a long time and we got our chicken over here who is uh, struggling to uh, swim but oh my gosh <laughs> look how big he is oh hey mr. chicken oh where are you going it looks like I should be able to ride him oh my gosh at least we can go after it and we can attempt to take these guys down and uh see see how much health they have okay hey guys oh my gosh yo whoa, whoa what is he doing what is he doing what okay i'm super scared now what in the world is he oh my gosh okay okay oh if i get him out of the water then they take sunlight damage that might be helpful actually okay this is really scary actually so is their hitbox super big too can i hit them like from Oh my gosh, ouch. I can't hit them? What's going on? Oh my gosh, okay, okay, holy cow. Okay, yes, there. Got him, got him. Oh my gosh, okay, I got the fish. Although I didn't drop anything. All right, there we go. So I think they do just have normal health. Uh, so that does reassure me for other parts, um, like the Ender Dragon and stuff like that. We're not gonna have to deal with the Ender Dragon having like five times health uh, what it normally should, uh, but I lost my crafting table, so I'll have to make another one, but that's okay. So now we have some stone tools, so you can at least uh, get things a little bit going. I think I might try to uh, take down some food sources. I definitely want to take down those sheep uh, so I can grab a bed. And uh, yeah, then we're going to probably head underground, maybe even like right there. I should have gotten some of that coal at that last spot. I really wanted to mine some, and I forgot, and now we don't know where it is. Uh, but that's okay, because coal is easy enough to find. Uh, like, it's right there. We found a nice little area. I uh, got some coal over there. I don't know if this leads down. Okay, it does look like it leads down maybe a little bit more. Uh, so this will probably be our starting point here. I'm um, just going to get some basic resources. I don't think I'm going to run into too many mobs down here. At least when I'm just, like, staircasing. Uh, until I run into any caves or anything like that. I have a little bit of food, but food is definitely still going to be a worry. Oh my gosh, oh, yo, oh my gosh, that scared me, oh my gosh, that is super scary, there is a spider, uh, hello spider, okay, oh my gosh, there's a skeleton, this is the scary part about going in the mines, okay, so it seems like their hitbox is pretty big though, because uh, I can hit him from pretty far away, oh, there's that zombie, oh, zombies, oh no, okay, okay, this is bad, this is bad, okay, well, we found our, uh, Actually, I don't know if that's really a lava a lava pool. It's just one source of lava, I think. So, unfortunately, not going to be our lava pool. I'm kind of I'm keeping my eye open for any diamonds as well, but I'm not really seeing them, at least not really so far. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I've got a bunch of iron smelting right now. I found there was a good amount around here, but we have uh, enough for definitely for a full set of iron armor here. 
uh, and then I think I'll have enough for some full tools and then of course uh, a bucket uh, for our water. So I'm just going to wait for this to smelt here and then I think I'm just going to head into the nether honestly. So we got our portal made, no problem here uh, with this lava pool. I looked around a little bit for some diamonds, I did not find any though. Uh, so unfortunately, that's alright, we don't really need diamonds, uh, it just would have been a little bit nicer. So let's get into the nether here, hopefully we're not inside of a cave. Wow, okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a ghast, I think. I... So the main goal of another, obviously, is to just get to another fortress and get some blaze rods, which is going to be very scary. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Some mushrooms so we can make mushroom stew. Uh, not a bad idea to keep yourself. <gasps> yes, oh my god, I don't know why, but that, I don't know why, but that fortress looks like it's giant too for some reason. Uh, but yes, we have finally found a fortress here. Uh, we still have a few stakes left, but we're getting pretty low here. Uh, so now we have enough mushrooms for uh, a good couple mushroom stew, so that'll keep us set for a, a while. Uh, but we will need to be on the lookout for mushrooms. Uh, and the endermen are going to be very, very annoying and scary to get uh, ender pearls from. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. There's so many other things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at those wither skeletons. Oh my goodness. Okay, I fear, I feel severely under-equipped right now. Uh, okay, okay. Only viable way that I see through this area uh, to that spawner over there is right through those mobs. So unfortunately, we're going to need to run uh, right through the mobs. We may get... Oh, yeah, I was worried about that. All right, as you guys see, I ended up finding another fortress uh, and my blaze spawner here. I just got uh, a single torch on there to kind of just slow the rate of spawning, not a whole ton. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of very scary mobs around here. Uh, it was very difficult and scary getting over here, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get out uh, being super safe. Uh, let's have our last cooked beef here, uh, and then we're going to have to start on the mushroom stew. Uh, but yeah, I already have five pearls here, uh, so we don't need a ton of blaze rods. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple, maybe we'll end like with like ten or something. Uh Oh man, oh a lot of ice skeletons, oh gosh, oh man, I mean no harm really. Alright, so we finally made it out of the nether, uh, we were not able to find our portal, we also were not able not to find too much loot, uh, we found enough obsidian to get back, uh, found a couple diamonds and gold ingots, uh, that's really it though, um, so, oh my gosh, okay, so we got a bunch of, uh, super huge mobs roaming around here, I think before any of them see me, uh, I'm going to sleep through the night, there's not really any reason that I need to be awake right now, uh, so let's start our trek here, okay, I maybe should have thrown it, uh, so it wouldn't fall all the way down, down the skeleton as well, but then also, uh, I'm gonna take on both of these endermen here, you too, uh, cause I really need ender pearls, I still... In a couple short. Okay, there's one. Looks like we got an ender pearl. And come on. Come on. Look at the, the grass block he's holding. It's still tidy. Oh, that was so weird. Hopefully, we find a couple more endermen here. Honestly, I think the endermen will probably be pretty easy to find given how uh, big they are. Uh, so they should be easier to find than normal. Uh, but yeah, let's maybe throw another eye of ender here. Oh my gosh, look at how big this boat is, yo. Oh, wow, okay, it's battling so fast, too. Wow, okay, have to go. I'm assuming, oh, <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, it went like right down, I think it went right down here. Yo, look at how, oh my gosh, dude, this stronghold, look how close to the surface it is. This is insane. I don't believe this. I don't think I've ever found a stronghold so high up. Oh my gosh, the silverfish. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, okay, I need to take out that spawner ASAP. Okay, let's see if maybe one will spawn. I want to see how big they are. Lighten? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, those are huge. Wow, okay, hey! Oh my gosh, these are, like, literally life-size. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're literally coming from everywhere! I need to take care of the spawner right now. This is getting really bad. I gave them time to live. I should not have do. I should not have done that. And just like this, like this, like this. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, those silverfish were stressing me out. 
Okay, so here we are in the end. I am very, very curious as to what the Ender Dragon is going to look like. Oh my gosh, he is so big! Holy cow! Okay, so we do actually have a bow this time. Uh, usually when we fight the Ender Dragon, we don't actually have a bow. We have very, just very bare mat materials. Maybe a little bit hard, but as long as I kind of keep up my looking like this, I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh, Ender Dragon. All right, so as you're seeing, as you saw there, and you just saw there, the Ender Dragon is not not really playing this fight fair. He can just kind of just go near me, and uh, that's enough for him to knock me all around. Enough even for me to. Oh my gosh, no, no, spare me. He knows I'm going for. Oh, what? My water. My water's gone? Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes, hello, Mr. Ender Dragon. Please, I do not want to look at any more Endermen. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my gosh. So let's try, okay. Get the Ender Crystal. I somehow missed. I don't know how those are missing. Okay, we did get him there. Oh, and somehow we were able to hit him with our sword there. Okay, 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 okay. No! Oh my god! Okay, okay, he's going away. I think we have one or two more cycles left and we will have him de defeated. Yes! Yes! Oh, we did it! We did it! We beat the Mega Ender Dragon! Oh my gosh! And here we are back in the village uh, with all the villagers, uh, well, small villagers and uh, normal sized villagers. Uh, to celebrate that the Ender Dragon is dead and we have won. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.